everyone. So today I'm making fish tacos because today I want to make fish tacos. So I have two pieces of mahi mahi here. So it's mahi and mahi. I'm gonna dice them up and season it with garlic, paprika, tahini, salt, and pepper. And then in this bowl, I have all-purpose flour, tapioca starch, baking soda, and baking powder. And then we're gonna add in some beer instead of water because uh, I find that the batter is a bit airier, a bit lighter and fluffier um, with the beer. So I have beer that's been aged in tequila barrels. Delicioso. Gordon. Gently fold it in because you don't want to break up your fish. This is the consistency that we're looking for. And if you added too much liquid, then just go back in and add more of the flour mixture. Okay. Now you don't want to overcrowd this. So you might have to fry them in two batches. Otherwise, they will stick together and fry in a huge chunk. Okay, while we wait for these to fry up, let's get started on our sauce. So I'm going to add a handful of cilantro, one avocado, some mayo, light or regular, a pinch of salt, some fresh cracked black pepper, and juice from half a lime. Put on the lid. Okay, let's grab these first. Pop the lid on, blend it up. Okay, I have some corn tortillas. Grab some of this sauce, spread it on the bottom. Boop. And then I'm gonna top it off with some spicy pickled cabbage. I will link the video below. Oh yes. This is gonna add a nice spicy, tangy crunch to it. Sprinkle some cotija cheese on there too. Hit it with some cilantro and voila, fish tacos. Well, I guess it's time that I should sample this since my camera guy already ate my one mahi. Cheers. Where's that beer? Well, I can't think of a better taco to make for the summertime. It's crispy, it's creamy, it's crunchy, it's tangy, it's sour, it's spicy, and it's delicioso. So go make some. You can find this entire recipe on my website at friesandthighs.com. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you later. Mwah.